<laughs> All right. It's time for our top five. And this one's a doozy. I always say that. It's a doozy. But this one is sure to get some comments from Comment. the chat. Commentos. So yep. our top five for the week. Top five. <laughs> worst bowling rules ever. Now, these are our opinions, so it's not... Um... Our opinion. Right, right. right. So if you guys and girls, ladies, have disagree. any... You can disagree, but if you have an idea of what the worst bowling rule is, and it could be anything, it could be USBC, it could be PBA, it could be any local association rule if you want to yeah. yeah. mention... But we had our own top five. Yep. Put them in. Put them in the comments because we love. Um, we love that part of the chat when we have it. You yep. know, the other so, comments that come in. Yeah, because we'll we'll often see things that we didn't think of or like, oh yeah, that one is pretty weird. Yeah. But all right, are we ready? We're ready. Number five. You ready? I'm ready. This is me being ready. <laughs> the extra holes. Banning extra holes coming in at number five. The only people that that hurt were the low speed, low, the lower rev players. The mm -hmm. high speed bowlers never had to use extra holes on house shots. They were using low end three piece balls. And now the guys that need help to get the 10 out got affected by it. So <sighs> banning the extra hole hurt the wrong part of that um, market. You know, they thought it was going to reduce flare. Think about that. Yeah. We just designed cores flare. that increase flare after drilling without holes. Exactly. Now we have intermediate dips of 20, 30. That balloon up to almost 30. Yeah. And then someone go over that after their drill too. So that's, um, yeah, that took care of that. It was a good idea. Not. I, I kind of miss balance holes to be honest. I like them. I like fiddling around with them. Put them every place you want. I put eight inches from the PA from the center of your grip. I just put them <laughs> everywhere. God, yeah, it's a play. It's a play. It effectively, you know, ruined a lot of layouts. I think for a lot of different people. Sure it did. And and the people that got ruined were not the the two forty average five hundred rev twenty two mile an hour guy. Yeah, definitely not the two handers and the no thumbers. No, for sure. the two handers and no thumbers got a bigger advantage. They created a bigger gap from the average league bowler to the two-handed rev guy mm -hmm. gap is now widened good luck I and mean, the, the nice thing is is one less hole i gotta drill mm -hmm. when i'm doing that's a robot true. that's one so, way to think about it you know one yeah. less thing my productive yeah. my productivity is shot way up oh it's going way up yeah way up whatever like people you know you gotta get there <sighs> one way or another <laughs> all right number four number four top five worst bowling rules no wrist devices on PBA Tour, and that's with an asterisk, okay? So they yeah, allow national. certain wrist right. devices, I believe. But and, and that's the Nationals only, right? National Tour. National Tour. So this yeah, is like making a, a – fixing a problem that didn't even exist. Right, right. I mean, there weren't many guys that used the whatever Cobra or whatever those animal traps were that you put on your arm. <laughs> Who's you – know? like nobody's using these things. But let's make a rule. Let's make band. a rule. Make sure they right. don't. Yeah, and stay and out. I'm sure you don't use it. I'm yeah. not using that, and I, and you won't ever use that again because you don't use it now. Uh, <sighs> not a rule. I love rules. Good job. Good job, right? Number three. Three. And you know what? I want to comment. I want to commend you on putting different numbers up this time. Thank you. Next to each one. Unlike this last one. week where they all had the same number. No, nah, it was two weeks yeah. ago. All right, two weeks ago. But you did a good job remembering that you count down from five. Well, this one had the three unit rule in it. So the number three kind of stuck yeah. in my brain. There. Yeah, it's another one. I, can... I, don't, I don't understand this at all. I don't get it. I don't know why it was important to make a rule. So tell people said, what it is. So you used to have to have three rule, at least three units on every board on the lane, at least mm -hmm. three units. And, and now they said, well, you know what? Uh, you don't have to have three anymore. So now you can have zero on the outside boards and you can make the inside even wetter. I don't know what the purpose was other than <clears throat> I, I believe other than you don't have to check the lanes anymore. Now the local association guy on an award score doesn't have to see if the, if the lane had three units 
uh, or certified. I'm not sure to even check them anymore, but or checked them before that. But putting three units and taking it away, I, I don't, I don't know how that helped anybody. Um, maybe they wanted the proprietors to save money on oil. So I don't know. I yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Infinite. I don't hope. know what purpose it served. You know, limit limit the the gutter balls. I don't know to raise yeah, people's averages and channel. make them feel good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how that helped. I mean, it, it actually made it worse for some people because now when you missed a little bit right at oh, your hook. target, the ball ricocheted. Hook them immediately. Yeah, and then it burns up. And then, you know, so again, I don't know. Let's have a rule. Yeah, fixing yep. problems. Yep. Number two. One, one time at a time. There you go. Number two. This one hits close to home for you. Yeah. Well, what, what do you mean? <laughs> No surface alterations or cleaning during competition. So the, the dry towel rule, the no cleaner, yeah. the no abrasives. But here's like the part, and not to interrupt, but here's the part. If you're going to make that, that rule and you want to make it specifically for certain tournaments, like you can't do it at nationals, um, and I got I, I can agree with it in some places, right? You can't do it at nationals. Why? Well, you know, a guy sanding his ball in the, in the, in the set tee might get it on the, on the, on the floor, get on your shoes. Mm -hmm. if you say i got it but to have a person not be able to change the surface of their ball if you bring two balls to league and one's too dull and one's too shiny and you want to adjust it you can't do that and you could get going the back with a scotch bright and tap it a little bit after you after you started bowling to say you know i need this ball to pick up a little sooner i don't know you, you don't know, agree you can't clean it you can't clean the ball Wipe the ball with alcohol or something while you're bowling. You got to get permission from the secretary. If you got belt marks on your ball, it's like, yeah. Oh my God. How long really? is that going to take? How long is that going to delay? Yeah, let me stop. <laughs> Here's the Just best. I, and I hate slow play in league. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. Get up there and bowl. You know, I got problems with people that put interchangeable thumbs in a spare ball. That drives me crazy. You know, they throw the shot. They gotta wait for the ball to come back. They gotta take the thumb out, put it in the spare ball. It drives me nuts. So I'm not a fan of slow play. It's all part of their pre-shot routine. This would drive me crazy. Switch Guy throws thumbs. the ball, and the ball comes back with belt marks on it. Yeah. Now he can't just go clean. He's got to go ask the league secretary if it's Hopefully. okay for him to wipe the ball. Off. Hopefully they're available, not in the bar or right. Well, who knows where they are? They have a 44 mm -hmm. lane center I'm in. What if he's on one and two? Yeah, that's a long walk. It's a long way to go. So you know what? If that happened to me and I want to drive the other team crazy, I would do it in between shots. I gotta I gotta get this off my ball. I can't shoot this spare. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be yeah, right back. Silly rule. Yeah. It's like that's really gonna improve scores. I don't know what it does. I don't know. Yeah, clean up. I mean, you could list surf, you could you can you can rule what you can and can't use. I got it. That you can do. I don't know how you enforce it, but that's the rule. You can do that. But, you know, to have no, you can't clean the ball at all. Really? Yeah. Andrew had a good comment there. He's like, this rule is dumb because you can have multiple identical balls with different surfaces. So the rule is pointless. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's, I'd rather it's, be able to just hit a ball while I'm bowling with a, if, yeah, if, just, if I ever wanted to think about doing that. Um, hit a ball while I was bowling just to change surface a little bit. Touch it up. Touch touch that baby up. Touch it know? up. It's like I need to get a little firm with this ball. Here's the best thing, too. You go bowl league and there's 87 balls in the tee. You know, we got six guys bowling or eight guys bowling and there's 15 balls down there. Yeah. If you allow this, you probably wouldn't need to have that. You can adjust that shiny ball a little bit. Here's the other thing. There's no rule against going to the pro shop and drilling a new ball. Right. Yeah. How long would that take? I'm in the fifth frame of the second game. I got to get a new ball. So, hey, go drill me up a ball. I need a ball. I, <laughs> I, need, I, need, a ball. You to, I, need, I need you to hit it with surface before you bring it out here. Yeah, bring it out here. Is that, le so. is that legal? Sure it is. You didn't throw it. It wasn't your yeah. ball yet, right? No, right. no. And you I mean, te not technically your ball, right? Yeah, but you didn't throw it in competition. The, so. That doesn't – that well, the rule says yeah. whatever, but yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, wasn't in your possession. It went to the pro shop. It's brand new. Right. I don't know. Right. Correct. So, I just ordered. I ordered it with five hundred grit. That's what I wanted. Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can have rules for nationals. You can have rules for the PBA tournaments. You can, have, but for league, let's make everybody's life a little easier. Yeah. 
Don't do that. Right. Nope. It's not, it's not making sense. Exactly. And the number one dumbass Worst. rule. <laughs> oh, boy. Is... Of course. Of course. The PBA 78 hardness rule for urethane. Oh, God. Okay. I need a whole... We would need a whole show. Well, wait, we had a whole show for that. We had a whole like, show. Two it, was a, it was a great show, by the way. It was. It was. <laughs> I don't know if anything came out of it, but, you know. 78 hardness rule for PBA, 78 hardness rule for urethane bowling balls. I don't know what that's going to prove. Um, maybe people won't throw them. Or maybe, just maybe, we'll figure out something. I I did mess up. I didn't put number one for this one. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the number. You had one job to do. You had one job to do. Five, four, three, two, two, two. It's like space balls are doing a countdown. Ten, nine, nine eight, yeah, six, 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 seven. seven. Just kidding. <laughs> you have one job to do. For the top five, and you—that's two out of three weeks. You did a meatloaf. Two Phil, out of three is Phil, bad. Why? I don't know. I don't know how many times I got to tell you this. What? I'm pretty terrible at this. <laughs> you, you are. <laughs> it's five numbers. Uh, oh my god. It's uh It's one of those things where you got a mental block. You're just I, mental. And you I'm. It. I'm dumb. <laughs> You know, and I even said to you, you got the numbers right, and you said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have three the whole time. No, you're getting better. Eventually, you will have the top five. It'll all be number one. Man. Oh, my God. I'm getting roasted in the comments. They're saying I need to go back to pre-K. I don't blame them. Exactly. Look, look that's, how, that's how they get you. You know, if you if you count one, two, three, four, five, that's easy. But as soon as you have to go backwards, like if you have to do the alphabet backwards. Well, there's no reason for that, except if you're drunk. But here's the deal. We even talked about this. And you said, yeah, I know how to count. I got it. Yeah. Apparently not. How on earth can that be possible? My it's gonna God. be a running, it's gonna be a running gag now from well, know. let's hope you get it right next week. Maybe we just well, do maybe, one. Maybe we would just use one number and put letters next to it. Maybe a better with letters. One A, one B. I'm just gonna stop doing a top five. That's it. You ruined it for everybody. Well, maybe we just do a top three. Be chance that you can get some of that right. <laughs> five, four, three. There you go. Perfect. Five, four, three. Perfect. Yeah, maybe I thought it was a tie. Maybe I thought this rule was as dumb as the last rule. It was tie. It's a tie. The top tie. <laughs> top five rules are the ties. Anyway. Yeah. We have any there good comments? Have, there, Anybody there have, have any? Go ahead. I'm sorry. There doesn't have to be a number one. No, that's true. <laughs> Does that? <laughs> Anybody have any good rules that we we didn't pick up on? 